Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cook Electricals, back again at Game Traders Ingle Farm here in South Australia for another in-store review. Uh, this time we're looking at the Hot Toys Iron Man Mark 35. Uh, so I'll head on in-store and I'll give you guys a closer look. Before we do that though, I'll just give you guys a quick rundown on some of the other amazing stuff they have on display here. So some cool statues there. Some of the Kotobukiya stuff down here is pretty awesome and there is the new Captain America which um, I still have yet to, to come, uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but they got a few hot toys and I think they've got the Celtic Predator in as well so um, I'll probably come back in next week to do a review of that so stay tuned. There's Black Widow. few other cool things over here so lots of games and little collectibles so an awesome little store so we'll get set up for the review and I'll be back with you guys in a second all right back again and here it is brand spanking new out of the box so I'll just give you guys a look at the box art and the box art is pretty damn cool a nice picture of the figure there back just has the usual credits and warnings and so on and this is just a slip cover so if I just get that off uh, you'll see the figure right there in the window box so we haven't even taken this out yet so I'll crack it open in a second and you get some nice art on the back but the figure does look pretty damn big and the paint app looks pretty awesome so I'll crack it open and uh, be back with you guys in a sec. Alright, so just a quick look at the base here. So slightly different to their usual style, which is pretty cool. So the mark name there and the stand, something I'm not used to seeing. Um, apparently you stick this up through his crotch and uh, keep him in that flying pose, which is uh, pretty cool, I guess. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if there's a light up feature on here. There's no sort of switch anywhere, so probably not but uh, I'll get onto the figure right now. And straight out of the box, this guy looks pretty damn impressive. So if you follow the page, you'll probably know that I'm not a huge Iron Man fan and I haven't really seen too many of them in person, to be honest. Um, but this guy, the, the bulk and the size of him is pretty friggin' impressive. The paint app is a really nice, bright, uh, deep red, um, as you'd expect from an Iron Man figure. Um, and this one, I think, is all plastic. There's, I don't think there's any die cast on this particular figure, um, unlike some of the others in the range. Um, and so he is pretty light for the size, but um, does look pretty awesome. Um, and I think this panel back here, which I won't bother taking off, is uh, where the light-up feature can be accessed. So I'll just give you guys a close pan down before I go through a bit of the articulation. So the detail on all of these figures is always amazing with the, the different pi um, pistons and joints and so on. The attention to detail by Hot Toys is always pretty impressive. So you just look at all that detail there and the shoulder joints there. So when you put on the light feature, his, uh, his chest here will, will light up. Um, and I'm not sure if the eyes light up as well. There's the close-up look. I'll just put this on the stand here and uh, give you guys a run-through of the articulation. All right, starting at the head. So a pretty, pretty awesome range of motion with uh, the double joint there. There's the, the neck joint and the uh, higher neck joint so you can sort of lift the, the head in the looking up pose and so on, so that's pretty cool. The shoulder moves fairly well as well. Now this was uh, meant to be just part of the power pose line and the first power pose figure for the Mark 42 was pretty limited in its articulation but this guy looks pretty damn awesome so um, you can sort of move and not be stuck with the, the same sort of pose all over the place um, even these little fingers here are all articulated you can sort of see the, the working pistons there which is pretty cool as well so all of these move so you can get sort of all different sort of um, grabbing poses there uh, I'm not sure about the the waist articulation there there are uh, pistons here so you might be able to get some ab crunching in there uh, but you'll probably have to check through the instructions on that 
Um, these panels here on the thighs can move up and down and so you can move them down and um, give them a bit of articulation in the, the legs here which is I don't think something the Mark 42 had uh, in the Power Pose series so this one definitely for the size and the um, different poseability options is a, a much better figure I think um, I'm not sure if the knees bend um, there are pistons here as well so you might want to check on that um, but there's definitely some ankle articulation as well um, swiveling and back and forth and just have a look at that detail there that is pretty impressive with the little wires and the pistons and just the paint application all over this thing is uh, pretty impressive I love the the gold so my, my favorite color scheme for, for Iron Man is always the the red and gold and this one pretty much um, suits that perfectly so he also has um, his fists in there that you can see, which I think you can rotate. Um, and I think that's what the, the Mark 36 uh, Peacemaker or Peacekeeper is based off as well, the, the newly announced uh, orange repaint of this. Um, so I think that's uh, an exclusive that's coming out uh, soon as well, so uh, hang out for that. Uh, but overall, for a Power Pose figure, they're number two in the series. Um, this is definitely um, not far off of a regular MMS figure in terms of um, detail and articulation, so um, he is pretty damn cool. So I was going through before um, just some of the light up features, I just noticed that there are some tabs here along the hands on both sides, um, so I'm assuming the, uh, the repulsor there can light up as well, um, in addition to his chest which you access from the back. Um, and I'm not sure if there's a there's also what looks to be a tab back there on the head so I'm assuming you'll be able to pull that out and uh, do the light up feature on the eyes as well so um, he will look pretty damn awesome on display alright so I hope you guys like that quick look at the Mark 40, uh, 35 Red Snapper um, if you're local to Adelaide uh, come on in and uh, check out Game Traders Ingle Farm um, for a closer look for, you, for yourself um, if you're across the country, um, head into your local game traders um, and check stock availability. I'm sure they'll be able to uh, hook you up with one. So I uh, hope you guys like that quick look. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.